Welcome to Behind the Bar by Grey Goose. In this episode, we're giving you insight and inspiration for setting up your own home bar. There are lots of ways to uniquely personalize your home bar to fit your space and your budget. That's actually what I love so much about seeing other people's home bar setups. They kind of like bring your personality to life. Mm -hmm. um, they're a really fun way to fill up an empty corner, maybe in a space that you can't really figure out what to put there. But it's also fun to see what people stock at home. What do you stock at your house? Well, Leon, I suggest that people really start with whatever you like to drink. So as everybody knows by now, I'm a Cosmo drinker. So no. I usually have cranberry juice, lime, some Grey Goose, I love Cosmos with Le Poix, so I love the Ooh. Grey Goose Le Poix to be at home at all times. But you know, I think it's silly to stock things that you're not gonna use, that you don't enjoy drinking just to have them. So yeah. I really suggest like, start with what you like and then build out your bar from there. All right, Leon, mm -hmm. so what kind of drinks do you like to make at home? Well, you know, I'm a citrus guy. So for me, I'm definitely having a zester so I can get some of those aromatics out of my citrus. Definitely. And a juicer because I have citrus, I definitely wanna pull some of those juices out so I can incorporate them in some of my cocktails. Very nice, gotta get that fresh citrus juice. Definitely need fresh juice. Okay, so let's talk about different bar locations. Indoor versus outdoor. Now I know we've been focusing more on indoor, but there's just as much wisdom that applies to an outdoor bar setup. I actually have both. Ooh. I've got an outdoor bar okay. and indoor bar cart. So what are some of the positives of having an outdoor bar? You know, I love the fact that I can host people on my patio. I don't yep. have to have them in and out of the house if I'm mm -hmm. having something outside. So, you know, it keeps mm -hmm. the inside of my house pretty clean. <laughs> yep. But there's definitely some challenges as well. Mm -hmm. um, storage, if you store glassware yep. out there, you need to wash it quite a bit because the elements are interacting with it, including the bar tools as yep. well. Um, but one of the things that's really saved me with my outdoor bar is having acrylic wear. Um, so I really like having acrylic vessels because I don't have to worry about broken glasses if people nope. are barefoot. I have a puppy, I don't have to worry about her. So yeah, there's an acrylic wine glass there, or great for spritzing. So 100%. that's super helpful and definitely something I would recommend for any outdoor bar. It kind of depends what you have to work with at home. You know, if you have space for a bar cart or some sort of home bar, that's amazing. But it's also really Really easy to just like designate a spot in your kitchen or or in um, an armoire in a, a hutch or something like that to really be your bar area. Yep. So we have two questions. One, do you have a home bar? And two, how did you put it together? Please share your story below. And for more great drink recipes, just click below.